Fill the sterilized jars with hot water and let them sit. Then drain your raspberries. Once you've drained your raspberries, measure them out in a large measuring cup. You'll also need a large pot in order to cook the raspberries. I use the jelly. I take two quarts of uh, berries, seven cups of sugar, and it makes it eight cups. The jelly is a lot cheaper. Put in the berries. Yeah. Well, they got to cook. And just enough water to keep them from burning. I'm straining some berries to try to take some of the seeds out because there's too many seeds in raspberries, I think. What are you straining it with, Mima? Cheese cloth. I'm gonna leave some in there, but I don't want them all. See, look, that's all you see is seeds. And pour the juice back in the pot. And pour the juice in the pot. And then we add sure gel or jellies, whichever you're using. Bring this to a boil. You slowly add sugar. Make sure y'all have it all measured out. So you gotta add it. How slowly. many cups is it? This is seven cups. And this is gonna be the boil that can't be stirred down. Alright, it's just about to get to the rolling bar. We want to boil this a couple minutes and stir. Don't stop stirring. We will have the bottom burn. When I get through with the jam and stuff and take a biscuit and soft pan. <laughs> it's warm. Oh god, that's what is the best. I think. <laughs> And it's got to set for just a few minutes, and now we're going to skim some of that off. Make like a film on top of there. And it's still good, but it kind of changes the color. It's like raspberry mousse. Mm-hmm. Our jars here already. That's just to keep it from smearing all over the lid. Look at that, perfect. Yeah, aren't we good? Mima skims this off the top of her preserves because it's like a foamy filter. And Deanna eats it. Mm -hmm. Let's go the finished product. Mm 